an American. It's the bearded trucker bobber. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're outside Ludlow, California. People are trying to make reels. Well, we're loaded up, heading stubborn. Good. Crossing the Colorado River. going on Instagram uh, very very bad day very bad news stuck on the side of the road in the RV and most likely a fuel filter or fuel pump uh, hopefully nothing crazy but apparently no shops can get this done so we may have to do a universal route uh, is anybody in the Albuquerque area like anybody out there um, have any clue anybody they know like any tips are helpful uh, we're getting it towed into town, and then from there, we'll go to, like, O'Reilly's and start figuring out parts and tools, and hopefully we can be back on the road. Hopefully we can go to Stubborn American. Uh, otherwise, we're going home, and depending on how long this takes. So, that's where we're at right now. These two are, like, watching a monkey f football. Who you telling that to? <laughs> Just Instagram. Nobody. No worries. <laughs> Whoa, what a wild view. Yeah, there's RVs that can make it. Oh, so, oh, 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 oh. so we live here now. Uh, Fenner State 40. I don't know, man. The yard's got a pretty good view, huh? huh. The backyard sucks, though. So this is the backyard. And, uh... Our neighbors suck. They're they're super fucking loud. They're a bunch of fucking pricks. And I swear to God, they just shake our house. All right, guys. So we have been living here for a day and a half out here on the road, uh, eastbound 40. It's it's beautiful, but uh, the RV and trailer are now getting towed by that. That thing's a a badass. Can we all fit in there? I don't know if we can all fit in there. If I have to ride the bike, I will, but. So, uh, yeah, well, it sounds like the fuel pump went out. I had a lot done to the motorhome and new tires, new everything, like it's just so much shit. We were having a good trip. We're about 700 miles in, halfway, almost to Albuquerque. I put 200 miles on the bobber yesterday, just going back and forth to get parts. Oh, my window was open. So now we are on the next part of the leg and got to go home so we don't get to go to Southern American and uh, that sucks. Everybody's already having a good time and uh, we're doing this so yay! words because he's sitting there it's like oh man that's dope and like we're just looking at pictures of like god man <laughs> <laughs> what i said 
shit I don't know how many times. I didn't remember he had a camera on the handlebars. Yeah, I had it running for a Not while. Not that that make much of a difference for me. But. Not one bit. Not how we planned it, Sir Ellington, but uh, you get to see Kingman, Arizona, but we didn't get to see Stubborn. Mm. This is nice. Mm. Better than being not stuck out on the road. All right, guys, after a disaster of trying to get to Stubborn American, the it's uh, story time, and my GoPro is going to suck ass, apparently. There we go. As you can see, the trailer's behind us, and we're not in the RV. So, we dropped the RV off at a place in New Mexico. They're going to fix it. I'm going to have to go back to Albuquerque. I don't know if I'm going to fly or get a ride, or that's hopefully a week from, from now, only a week from now, we can get it back and get it done. What I did realize is I'm not an RV owner. Like, it's just, I can work on stuff all the time. These RVs are kind of a, a finicky character because a lot of them are built a lot different. And same year, same brand, different motors, different this, different that. It's, uh, I, I'll stick to my two wheels, I think. Like, I, I think that's uh, the plan. But unfortunately, we didn't make it to Sober American. We are very jelly right now on a, we just got back into California. We were 750-ish miles uh, from so Southern California. So halfway to Moyers, Oklahoma. We're watching videos, sitting there on the side of the road for 30 hours. Of, like, they're digging out, you know, they're doing tug of war, they're doing all this stuff, we're, we're missing it. Now, it's about four in the morning New Mexico time. Motorhome starts like acting like it's out of gas. Cool, yay, awesome. We think we're out of gas. We unload the bobber. I go, I get a gas can. I put 200 miles on my bobber that day. I had been up for over 24 hours. We tried getting a tow at three in the afternoon because we decided this just is not gonna happen. And we weren't getting anything. Nobody was answering us back. Uh, for roadside citizens, and I said, you know what, let's try to fix it ourselves. So I, kept, I was going back to town, getting parts, went to three different O'Reilly's, like everything we can to do what we can. Still wasn't enough, nobody had the right part, we couldn't get the right stuff. So finally the next morning, it's uh, 8 o'clock, 8.30, we get, a, we get a call that they're gonna send them out. It's gonna be about two and a half hours. It's 11 o'clock, the guy gets there, gets us loaded up. This guy is amazing. Uh, the tow truck driver was hilarious, fantastic dude. Totally helped us out, told us we were going to the right place. Uh, everything about him, uh, I can't thank that guy enough. He really saved the day, like, uh, I mean, the second day. But uh, the funny thing is this guy, drove by us the night before. He's telling us, you know, I saw you guys out there. And all I can think is, man, I hope I don't get that call. He said, RVs are a pain in the ass. And I was like, damn it, dude. Plus we had the trailer behind us, which thankfully, my brother's uh, girlfriend had this truck, the F-250, uh, his truck, so she brought it out to us. So she came out about 500 miles, like 460 or whatever from Kingman. And uh, <laughs> we're panning over to me, Boulder. <laughs> Now, he's letting me borrow this truck to get the trailer and motorcycles back to California. One side note, the trailer's been fantastic. Uh, the dime plate's been working good, the hitches are working good, the straps are working good. Everything about the trailer has been fantastic. Knock on some wood and uh, we're almost home. Bobbers are safe. It was just one thing after another. Um, 
here's the, here's the worst part is when we got to Kingman, we we got gas, we picked up my brother, and we said we're going to stop at Walmart uh, again and uh, or like somewhere we'll get drink like uh, some some drinks. We had drinks with us. Let's not. We had water. We were safe. Uh, but we'll stop. We'll get uh, silverware because we had food to cook and everything else. <laughs> And we're like, all right, we'll get silverware, we'll get uh, we'll get some blankets and stuff because we only had like one blanket, and we'll, we'll make this this whole thing work. Now, this is all happening. I had meals with us that we could do in the microwave, and thank goodness we did actually have gas, and we put that in the generator. Or well, we had the generator running. We were able to use the microwave, cook meals. I got the first meal going, and I go, oh, we don't have any silverware. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do right now. So I'm eating with a pocket knife, like a spoon, and shoveling, like I'm shoveling jambalaya into my mouth. Meatball over here cuts up an uh, arrowhead water bottle, <laughs> and he's using this like jagged piece of plastic to scoop food up, and so is my brother. And the whole time, so this motorhome is like literally on the side of the 40 east, and Diesels are coming by, like they, they're like 90 miles an hour out there. And the motorhome is just swaying, swaying. You feel like you're out on the water, especially when you've been in there for 30 hours. And I, yeah, so I'm watching the mirror eat, motor sway. Watch the diesel just go by. Oh, no diesel, eat, sway. You know, it's like back and forth. A little bit later, we're trying to find zip ties. In the junk drawer, there's this very small box of like, five spoons it was just the way this trip is it's like haha -ha, like it's ridiculous hour 30 we were deciding on who was gonna have to be eaten so <laughs> it's a good thing the tow truck driver got there uh, it's been I'd say it's been an adventure but, Adventures uh, of the Bearded Bobber. Yeah. It's not a not a good one. Like <laughs> seven hundred miles from home. Oh man, it was it was awful. Uh, I'm real thankful for family and uh friends and everybody who's been reaching out and uh trying to, to help us. She with moto bombshell, like they were, you know, seven hundred miles away and still trying to get anybody in the area that could help us. And we did have a couple people reach out. Uh, unfortunately, it's just one of those things that uh, nothing anybody could do. Uh, if you know you needed a massive tow truck to get that RV, and no one had the part anyway, the fuel uh, tank has to be dropped to do this whole job. They got to put it up on this big rack. They were gonna close at noon. The guy got there 11, like started like 11:09. He's like hooking up, and I told my brother, I'm like, oh, dude, like we we might make it because if we didn't get it there by noon. They weren't going to be able to take it in, and we we call them, and you know, and they're like, "Yeah, just fill out the form online. We'll we'll wait and we'll take you in." So I mean, we got there like what twelve thirty, something like that. So we got there a little late. They stayed for us. Uh, even the tow truck guys like, "You're going the right place. This is definitely." I was like, "Hey, can we go here?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And he's like, "That's where you want to go." And I was like, fantastic, man. We get there, we get all our stuff unloaded. Because, of course, it's a house on wheels. So we've got a uh, crock pot. We've got, you know, I've got everything in this damn thing. We, we're all, we all have suitcases. We all have clothes. And I actually have a pink bag that Nikki gave me to take on this trip for my clothes. Because it's not like I'm going everywhere. And who cares? It's a bag. I don't give a shit. Now, gave me something to tease it, him about. He's teasing me. But what's messed up is he didn't get to see that this morning. We're leaving the hotel because we stayed in Kingman because we needed a shower, uh, three of them. So we get that all taken care of. I'm leaving while he's still in the room to go down to meet my brother with a truck. My brother just dropped us off after we went to Rickety Cricket last night in Kingman. And I'm walking and this lady gives me the dirtiest look and stares in my bag. And I was just like, what in the world is this? Like, it was I don't, super awkward. I'm like... Leave me, leave me alone. Leave me in my pink bag alone. <laughs> Just because you don't have one. You know, jealous. Like, but we're almost home. We are going to be at Southern America next year. At least I know I am. 
he's still figuring his life out because uh, he's a lot further than I am. So, but I'll be stubborn. But we did get to practice with the trailer, and I guess that's what this is—the is practice run. We don't know if we'll be doing a trailer next year to stubborn, uh, but we do have to stub uh, use the trailer for the one moto show, so we can have multiple bikes up there in Portland. That's that's all I got. If you guys were at Stubborn American, um, I wish I was there with you. So until next time, I want to say stay classy, but I feel like say stay stubborn like works for this one. So yeah. stay stubborn, you classy sons of bitch. Like <laughs> all right, for me, ball and myself, we're out of here. There it goes.